All right, guys, you're back with Mark, TCG and Whiskey. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick update uh, before tonight's fight, uh, Saturday. Um, we got a couple big matchups. I'm sure you can see on my screen already that could potentially change the price of these guys uh, moving forward. Um, first would be Francis Ngannou. Um, his cards have been gaining a lot of traction lately. His rookie card is going to be... I don't want to say hard to get, it's because it's not going to be hard to get, but it's going to be harder to get because 2017 Topps Chrome sealed boxes are way more limited and super pricey. Um, about the cheapest I see now is 1500 and they're selling for 1500 So um, just because, I mean, one big guy is him in there, Valentina's in there. There's just a group of great guys in the um, 17 Topps Chrome. Um, but... I just wanted to take a quick look and show you guys with Nganu um, going up. Now might be the time to get him because if he has the ability to go out and beat Stipe tonight, um, his next fight, so Stipe is considered the greatest heavyweight of all time. I'm not going to try to dispute it or anything, but if he can go out and beat the greatest heavyweight of all time, um, which the UFC wants, um, then he already has his next fight lined up. He's going to be fighting John Jones. And if you're fighting John Jones, um, they're going to keep hyping Francis. Francis has already been all over um, the TV, and he's all in the commercials and embedded and everything. The guy does a lot for other countries. He sets up camps for kids and everything like that. Um, great human being, you know, and tries to do his social work on the side. And then he's going to fight John Jones, who's considered by many. Uh, to be the greatest of all time, and quite frankly, I mean, I I personally think John Jones is probably the greatest of all time with an asterisk by his name. Um, but if he can go out and beat them, this guy's going to be uh, exploding in price. So I just want to take a quick look. Seventeen debut cards here, um, fifty bucks. You got guys asking five hundred dollars for the base ninety nine. Now, this guy was pretty quiet a long time ago but now if you even come here and look we can take a look at completed sales and his refractor rookie um, is selling for 100 this is next year so this doesn't really count another tops museum 150 um, so all his rookie cards are selling 100 plus right now and quite he hasn't even got the belt now if he gets the belt and then beats the greatest of all time these things are going to explode. I think now's the time. If you don't have any and you like Francis, you believe he can beat Stipe later on today, I think you have to pull the trigger on buying some Francis rookie cards. Or you can sit on the 2017 uh, Top Chrome wax box if, uh, if that's an affordable option for you. Um, because you'll get Francis and you'll get Valentina and you'll get uh, a handful of other great rookies in that class because it was the first Top Chrome. Um, so think about that, but you got it. His cards have already been creeping up with all his popularity coming out, all the promotion, and he's going to get promoted way more, um, very soon if he, uh, if he can beat Stipe and then he has to fight Jones. So I just wanted to point out cards are all selling over a hundred for his rookie cards. I mean, this isn't his rookie. This is an older accepted listing, but not a refractor. And um, these are just base rookie cards. So refractors and other cards are all selling. Um, they're moving. So it could be the right time to get in there and grab one of them. And then the other guy I want to talk to you about here is uh, Sean, Sugar Sean O'Malley. The kid, um, I don't know if he's going to be the champ anytime soon. Uh, he's got to go out there and beat Almeida um, to show how good he is because Almeida is a stud. Um, also in his own right. The thing with Sugar Sean and why if he can beat Almeida, who's a stud, he's going to get a pretty top-ranked guy probably going forward. Um, he also has a huge social media presence following. He's a big uh, gamer. He has a giant Twitch following. He's already a very popular dude. His podcast is popular. Um, he doesn't have to be the greatest of all time for him to shoot up. He's already super popular. People love him. Um, he's He's got that swagger is the best way to say it. Sugar Sean, but his cards are already super pricey. 
um, leading up to this fight again where people see he's healthy. Hopefully his foot's fine for this one. Um, you could take a look. His refractor card asking 80. This is actually pretty good for his first autograph, 250. I don't, I didn't look at the condition of it. But then if you even come and take a look, he should have some pretty good his sold listings. So his base card, 40 bucks. Diamond refractor. I mean, it's great. It's not even a 10. It's a 9. Um, accepted with 250. Museum, 25. Um, he's just, he's selling Look at his gold here. Uh, in a 10 accepted offer his rookie um, he's selling and he's gonna go up if he can beat Almeida this weekend and he probably he likes to stay pretty active he'll probably get another fight in again really soon um, the kid is he's a stud he's fire he's fun to watch he's exciting um, both these guys coming up on tonight's card if you believe in their um, their abilities to get it done in the ring now is the time to pick them up because they're going to start to explode. The UFC is really going to start to pump Francis. They already like Sugar Sean. He already has a huge following. Uh, he goes out there and puts it on in, in the pay-per-view main event tonight. I believe this is his first pay-per-view main event. Um, he's not the headliner, but he's just fighting on the main card, I should say. Um, I believe a lot more people are going to know him. They're going to love him if he wins, if he can get another walk off knockout I mean the guy's great um, little tool you can see I use his uh, everybody's asking around 80 bucks for O'Malley's refractor but you can see that they weren't always insane prices um, his base cards his refractors uh, resells it but they're all getting up here now so it's time to get on the sugar train and um, Pick him up. I also should have uh, Francis in here. Um, you can see Ngano's prices um, for his refractor. Um, 17 is up on the 7-day. Up slightly on the 30-day. I believe there's just not enough recent sales um, truly for him to, to get the data from. But he is selling. He is selling for over 100 for his refractor. They are asking good prices for his refractor cards here. Um, and this guy has the ability to become a, a Mike Tyson for UFC if he can keep steamrolling people the way he does. Like I said, he's going to have the best of the best in front of him this fight and his next fight, guaranteed, if he can win. And then it's, it's not like there's dogs behind that with uh, other guys in that division. Derek Lewis can put anyone out. Curtis Blaze, uh, wrestling ability is unbelievable. Um, he's, he, if he can stay up there, this is the time to pick up some of his rare and exciting cards. Um, like I said, there's not many, uh, 2017 tops. Chrome was very rough to get, uh, 18 Chrome where Sugar Sean's in is also getting a little harder to get, but still available. But 17's near impossible to get at a good price. I just wanted to share that before the fight and, um, I will see you guys very soon.